You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a guide on how to make money in Team Fortress 2 in 2019 and 2020. This is a pretty current method that I kind of recently discovered for myself and have made some money with. And I wanted to share it with you guys and show you guys how to do the same sort of thing. Now, if I'm quieter than usual and less, uh, less hyper, it's because it's nighttime. Um, I'm trying to be considerate of my family and I'm exhausted. But yeah, guys, it's a pretty cool little method and I'm going to go ahead and skip all the blabbing and just jump right in and show you guys what I'm doing. So. Here on marketplace.tf, this is a website that you can sign in with your Steam account, make an account through this website, and basically trade your items onto this website from your Steam account and then sell them for real cash money. And in return, the website takes a little piece of uh, the money for commission. Basically, like is if you were selling the items on the Steam community market, except you can actually cash out your money to something like a PayPal account if you wanted to. Or, you know, you could just do basically, you could spend items on the market. It's basically just like the Steam community market, except it's not through Steam. It's through this third-party service, Marketplace.tf. The same guys who run the Scrap.tf website where you trade items for scrap. So, basically, um, there is an item in the game called a carefully wrapped gift. You might have seen it around Christmas time. Basically, it's an item that is inside of a Christmas uh, gift wrapping that when you get the item and you un you don't really know what you get until you unwrap it and then uh, and then you see it's just it's some sort of item that somebody's wrapped up now this one for example this one is being sold for a dollar ninety seven now this one actually tells you what item is inside of it and it they didn't used to do this but they've started doing it recently where they say what item is actually inside the carefully wrapped gift yeah i think a lot of governments have just recently started cracking down the whole loot box idea where you're buying an item without really knowing what you're getting out of it and so a lot of websites like this have started displaying what item is actually in the box um, so that people will have an idea of what they're getting for their money. Basically, they're trying to take the whole gamble element out of it so it's not quite so appealing. Now, obviously, since you can get the bat out of hell for like half a scrap, nobody's going to pay $1.97 for this. Now, here's an interesting thing, though. These are the items that are for sale, but there are active buy orders, which means somebody's put in an order where they have already committed to buying one of these carefully wrapped gifts at this price right here. So if you or me listed an item on here for like 35 cents, then it would be traded to this person automatically and your account would be credited with 35 cents minus a 10% commission, so 32 cents, right? So that's our angle. We can basically act as sort of a fulfillment person. We can basically buy an item for cheaper and then fulfill it on this website and get a and get basically sell it instantly. There's no worrying about having to list it and be like, oh, well, maybe it'll sell, maybe it won't. No, these people have already committed to buying this item. So basically, we have to find a carefully wrapped gift for less than 35 cents um, and then sell it and make a profit. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, if you go to the Steam community market and you type carefully wrapped gift, You'll see there's no items that match your words. Why is that? Carefully wrapped gifts are not sellable on the Steam community market. So you can't buy it for cheaper on the Steam community market and then resell it on marketplace.tf. So that's a bit of a bummer, but there's something else we can buy. There's something called gift wrap. Now gift wrap is what is used to wrap the basically the carefully wrapped gifts up with. You basically can take any item you want to. It could be an unusual, it can be just some random drop weapon you got, and you can wrap it with gift wrap and create a carefully wrapped gift. Or and you can send it to another player, or you can trade it. Now, if you take a look here, this gift wrap is being sold for 21 cents, and you can buy up to 32 of it at 21 cents. So what I, my goodness, I'm supposed to be invisible. How is this guy still messaging me? Will you please? Leave me alone, sir, okay? I don't want to talk to you. Anyway, so let's take a look at the buyers here. We have three buyers at 35 cents. We have 
30, we have 15 buy orders at 34 cents and we have two buy orders at 33 cents. Now add these together, you have about 20. So I actually have a carefully, um, actually have a carefully wrapped gift already in my inventory here. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 19 of these gift wraps at 21 cents each. So that's gonna be about $4. Now I already have that in my Steam account. If you don't have the money to actually buy this, these items for cheaper and then resell them, you're gonna to have to add some later and then you can pay it back to yourself when you make a sell on marketplace.tf. You will be making a profit through this. You need to trust me on that. All right guys, so we got our 19 gift wraps in our inventory. Now we paid $3.99 for it, quite a lot. So, you know, you need to have a little bit of money for this to help you get started. It definitely helps. Now you could just do this one by one, but it's a lot easier and it's just, you know, it doesn't take as long when you're kind of doing it to scale. I think we already had about 20 bucks in my Steam accounts wallet, so it wasn't any trouble for me to buy all of this. But if you're kind of broke, um, you might need to either borrow a little bit from a friend to get started and then pay them back later, or just do this one at a time and then gradually buy more stuff with your profits. Um, I already had the money to invest initially, so I'm all good to go. So. I've got now 19 gift wraps. So what I'm gonna do is open up Team Fortress 2 real quick. Okay guys, so you can combine the gift wrap with any item you want. You could do, I could combine it with this key for example, or with, you know, one of these masks or things. But since we're trying to do this as, as cost effectively as possible, what I'm going to do is combine the gift wrap with just these random drop items. Like for example, the bat out of hell or um, just like one of these tribal men shiv, basically an item you can just get at any time that's worth half a scrap each. So we're gonna go through here real quick and go ahead and use these to create a, just a random, uh, carefully wrapped gift that contains a random item. And there you go, we got a carefully wrapped gift. So I'm gonna go through and do all of these real quick, combine these with just random items and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I basically went ahead and took all that gift wrap and just wrapped up some random items I had uh, in my inventory, just duplicate items. And so now we've got 19 carefully wrapped gifts. So we're done with Team Fortress 2, we can close it now. Now what you wanna go do is go back to marketplace.tf, you wanna click on your little profile, and then you wanna go to seller dashboard. Or you could just go to deposit too. I guess just go ahead and go to deposit, probably a little bit more of a shortcut. So select the game you want to deposit, we're gonna select Team Fortress 2. This tells you you're gonna be trading with Marketplace bot number 85. I understand to open a trade offer. And we're gonna wait for our inventory to load up all nice and neat. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag over all our carefully wrapped gifts over to our box here. All right, so there's four, eight, 12, 14, so there's five more. All right, four, eight, 12, 16, 19. So now we sure that all 19 are there. Warning, I'm gonna select, yes, this is a gift. Now, it's saying it's a gift because this is Steam. They wanna make sure they're not going to cover anything if you're sending something to somebody else. You can't. Nobody's gonna cover it if you get scammed or anything, but marketplace.tf is not a scam. It's completely legitimate. Use them all the time. They're run by the same guys who run scrap.tf, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna confirm on my mobile app that yes, I wanna send them this trade offer. I'm gonna wait for that to go through. Okay, so it's all done since there's nothing left to confirm. Now, if you go back to your seller dashboard, you should get a little message in this lower right-hand corner here. Yes, we're working to confirm your deposit of 19 items. So typically you need to wait um, how many items you are depositing will typically um, will typically determine how long it's gonna take for it to confirm the deposit. I've generally found it's usually between five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick and we'll come back as soon as they've just confirmed the deposit of all the items. We'll get a little notification here. All right guys, so it's been a couple of minutes and I just checked and we now have all 19 items deposited. So we have 20 items in here. This includes the 19 carefully wrapped gifts I just made, plus the one I already had on here. So we basically now need to sell these based on the buy orders. So what I'm gonna do is we've got three buy orders for 35 cents. We're gonna go in here and set price, and we're going to go ahead and set buyer pays 
point 35 cents and we're going to click set price now our carefully wrapped gifts are now priced at 35 cents so what we're going to do is we're going to wait a couple of minutes now basically what's going to happen is you see the highest priced here right now is $1.97 so see right there it says you now sold 96 cents worth of items so that happened very quickly now if you refresh this page you'll see the buy orders for 35 cents are gone and now all our other items that were priced for 35 cents have just been dumped under the sell list and anybody can buy them at 35 cents which is awesome but we're not done yet we just sold three items instantly and made 96 cents so what I'm going to do now is go back and relist them for 34 cents so we can fulfill all the buy orders here the 15 buy orders for 34 cents we're going to hit 34 cents I'm going to click set price as you can see it's now priced at 34 cents so if you refresh this page again you now see items are set at 34 cents which are all from me now if you give it a minute again it's going to fulfill all 15 of these buy orders and we're going to get a little notification that says oh you've sold such and such amount worth of items so we're going to give that a minute as you can see this one just has a level 5 kukri item nothing special just an extra sniper melee weapon i had lying around so we're going to give it another minute any moment it'll pop up a little notification tell us how many items we've sold all right so there you go right there is those about to refresh the page sold four dollars and 65 cents worth of items now if you look carefully guys we've already made more back than what we paid we only paid three dollars 99 cents for the wrapping paper but just on the 34 cent buy orders alone we made four dollars and 65 cents and 96 cents from the 35 cent orders but we still have two more 33 cent orders that i want to fulfill so we've got two of these left at 34 cents so we're going to go back here again we're going to refresh this page we're going to click set price delist item so now the price has been removed and now we're going to put these last two at 33 cents now i could probably leave them at 34 cents and somebody would eventually buy them um but i'm trying to sell out quickly i'm trying to make my money as soon as possible so this is now priced at 33 cents we're going to give it a minute and we should get approximately 60 more cents from the buy orders being fulfilled minus the commission and here you go we've sold 60 cents worth of items so we're going to go ahead and refresh the page again as you can see the lowest price of this is again $1.97 the guy who was selling it before me this mushroom fellow and the only buy orders left are the 25 cent buy orders and there's 10 of those so you know you could technically sell one for 25 cents you could buy wrapping paper at 21 cents um and sell this and maybe they take two cents commission you could make maybe a two cents profit i'm not going to do that because i don't care about making a quick 20 cents on like 10 different items that's not worth it for me now when we're making when we're talking like 10 cents per item i'm down for that but when it's like 20 cents for 10 items it's like i don't care if you guys want to try that knock yourselves out but you guys get the idea now right what we're basically doing is we're looking on this website for deals where people are willing to pay more for something that we can provide at a lower cost than we can take the difference. We're basically just trading and earning value by fulfilling a need that we can get from a, a cheaper source elsewhere. We're basically matching up buyers and sellers. And guys, this isn't limited to just Team Fortress 2. If you can do this with other games, go for it. Any games that basically have an item um, or just in-game items that have like a real market value and a lot of games do you can basically do this um, you could do this with counter-strike global offensive items you could do this with dota 2 items you can do this with a lot of things i'm only using valve games because that's what i'm familiar with um, but yeah there's basically websites like this for so many different games out there um, this isn't against any terms of service uh, or against any rules this is perfectly legal to do this won't get your account banned or anything uh, nothing silly like that, right? So it's basically just a quick little guide on how you can make money. But yeah, that's how you make money playing Team Fortress 2, guys. That's how you make money with trading um, and with all that kind of cool stuff. So I hope you found the video useful. I hope you can use this to make you some quick money and uh, have money to buy other games with, buy TF2 cosmetics that you really want, and uh, just really cool stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. Uh, please let me know if you've found any other cool ideas down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you found it helpful, please leave a like on it. I know everybody says to do that, but it does really help with the algorithm and all that awesome stuff. Um, and yeah, 
Thank you guys again for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, Cascarte Utica. It's been a little guide on how to make money playing Team Fortress 2. Until next time, I will see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, 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 I,